Hey everyone, we have a surprise today, um, um, a video that uh, I thought I could do uh, quite a long while ago, actually I did make a post detailing uh, how we could do this, um, but never made a video, and then there was a comment some, some time ago that asked for a video on this, so that's what we're doing today, how to play, um, so, so the first thing is how to have an Android emulator on your Windows computer, so this would be using Windows operating system, but you know there's other operating systems and there's other emulators, and then the second point is you'll be using BlueStacks, which is one of the Android emulators that uh, actually supports uh, uh, in in uh, in fairness good uh, performance um, uh, a video game that is built on the Android platform. So. That's the two things, and then uh, with the game we'll be doing uh, any covering today will be actually Hero Wars. So that's this is uh, this is the start, and this is how you do. But you you go so regarding specifically BlueStacks, take this in consideration. You go on to BlueStacks website, and you download the version five here, the version five, version five. Okay, not version 4 so the jump from 4 to 5 means a dramatic performance increase among other fixes and not blue stacks 10, 10. <coughs> not blue stacks blue stacks 10 you get the blue stacks 5 okay so you have uh, a download here very small uh, of about 1 megabyte then you you will open this and then it will download uh, uh, the the actual installer and install uh, the BlueStack simulator on your computer. Alright, so we get prompted. I hope uh, that we are capturing this completely um, on on OBS. So we you you download it, you get this. On my case, it's already installed. So I'll do an update and not a full install. And let's close this. And then uh, once it's finished, um, I will explain a few things, and I will explain what you will get with the first install as well. So it's finished downloading actual the actual installer about 160 megabytes. And uh, I guess we can close this behind. And it seems to have already finished, and it uh, launched the BlueStacks instance manager. Well, oh wait, there's what is it doing? <laughs> it's doing something for BlueStacks. Then I think it's a new behavior. Okay, I did there. Uh, usually, what will happen is that so yeah, install things there that I didn't really well. This is kind of blocking the view, so let's move or disable the camera. So yeah, now we have there blue stacks. Then yeah, we don't want that. We just ignore that. We what we want is blue stacks. So once it's installed, it's probably going to launch blue stacks immediately. So blue stacks five, and what exactly do this does is is launching. Uh, the first VM or virtual machine that gets created with BlueStacks. Uh, now, what I recommend is you just set up uh, your 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 basic uh, information here, and then use this VM as a startup for other VMs. And why why that? Because it's, um, in my opinion, a bit more light and and more economic for the resources of your computer to have one virtual machine as long as you have enough space one virtual machine for every game that you play and also you ca kind of contain things so um, you don't get bombarded with notifications and things like that so I, I have multiple VMs and now we're gonna look at that so if you open uh, the BlueStacks 5 multi instance manager uh, you can see I have multiple VMs here. I have uh, the default VM, which is the one that got started with this, with this link here. Okay, 
uh, you have uh, social and this is basically where I have a bunch of uh, social network applications like Facebook and Instagram and so on. I don't have those on my phone. I reject using proprietary spyware applications on my phone. So I only use uh, open source equivalents and sometimes there's no open source equivalent but that's too bad. Uh, but then I have this VM for that kind of things which is separate on my computer doesn't have access to my to my data and it's kept there doesn't bombard me with notifications where I don't want and also very important does not consume my my battery and makes my phone slow so that's my social VM we have uh, a hero wars VM and then there's this other where I do experimentations now um, regarding uh, this uh, you can make uh, you, know, you can make folders or directories here so you just click here and then you can you know make a, a name in this so like my stuff right you can also delete them clicking here the, this icon and um, and then you can arrange VMs all right okay like this you can arrange VMs inside the, the folders like this right so I'm gonna put it back outside because I don't actually know what this is. <laughs> I'll have to see. Um, so you start with one. It's called BlueStacks. It's not inside a directory. So it will show uh, something something like this. All right, the BlueStacks. You see already updated there. Now I'm gonna put it back as it was. And and then so what I usually do uh, once it gets installed. You might get, I don't recall exactly now, but you might get uh, uh, um, the first screens for set up setting up uh, an Android device. So that's, I think, what I remember watching. But anyways, uh, after that, even if you skipped all of, of that, you can go in here and, and do all, you, you, do, you can do here the, the typical setup, not a full setup like a phone, but uh, some of the common things. So I would suggest you pick up the, the date time zone here um, you know if it doesn't pick up your time zone you can pick it pick it up here manually but basically try to have it uh, auto and see if it's correct and otherwise change uh, you should set up your in inputting format for me it's English and Portuguese so the keyboard etc so this is like a typical phone you just add languages here you can put one default uh, you can you can select the languages for the keyboard so you should um, do some tweaking here. If you have more than, than one language, you should set it up here. You might be talking with multiple people, and so you might, from different languages, you might be wanting to use uh, those different uh, languages. I'm putting my camera back there because I don't think I will be using the the Windows startups, uh, startup menu again. Um, and then uh, you have also uh, the accounts here and this is where you should set up one Google account uh, because you will need one Google account to play Hero Wars Mobile because Hero Wars Mobile uses um, uses the Google Play uh, games uh, application so you need an, a Google account so you just click here Google account and then it goes through all this process so this I think what what you will be prompted in the first time you, you launch uh, the first VM then you can you know, do your login here and all that kind of thing so we're not doing that because I don't need to um, can I yeah, go back yeah and, and that's uh, basically that because you don't need to change anything else here and there's very few things to change anyways so you will have a base uh, virtual machine that you can then use to do more interesting things so I'll close this up now uh, by the way, closing here means you will be stopping the VM and saving the state of the VM, including what files will change. All right. So it's the same as clicking stop here. So we have uh, uh, we have a base VM going on, and I called it six blue stacks and sixty four six because it's the sixth VM that I created. It keeps a track of the VMs you create and delete. And what is the N sixty four means it's on on Android version seven Nougat. And it's a a 64-bit um, VM. Um, there's a difference between 32-bit and 64-bit, especially on Windows, because on Windows you are limited to 4 gigabytes of RAM on 
32-bit uh, systems. So if you want to use more than 40 gigabytes of RAM, then you need 64 bits. Uh, on Linux systems, and Bluestacks doesn't run on, li on Linux, but uh, you don't have that limitation, artificial limitation, must I add, because you can get away with it on on, on Linux. So specific um, specific uh, limits of, of Windows. Um, there's a few things you can you can also configure. Um, well, I cannot move this away, but I'll put it like this. You a few things you can configure. Oh, that's bad design. Bad UI. Bad UI. F few things you can configure on the VMs, and I'll show here. You click on these. Uh, uh, what do you call these things? I forgot. The, the whatever you call this circle thing here. And you can allocate uh, resources to the system uh, because this is a basic VM. I don't really need much resources, so I just put it with the minimum one core, one gigabyte. This doesn't matter. Uh, this do doesn't really matter much uh, anyways, you can put it for whatever your computer supports and this would be I would say the default, the medium and then the graphics, uh, based on my experience I've been setting here um, performance, not compatibility and OpenGL and then software uh, you might have different, for the interface render software, you might have different results with different um, settings, so OpenGL and DirectX are are uh, frameworks for driving uh, graphics in your in your graphics card or graphics chip. So what we also call the GPU, the graphics processing unit. And um, there's uh, more than two competing standards. There's also Vulkan. And uh, Bluestacks doesn't support Vulkan, but it seems to support OpenGL and DirectX. Um, I think both more or less equally. Um, I think I've I had better results with OpenGL, but I might be wrong. And you should you should um, check what's the default and, and try it out and see what's more stable and what's more performant. I tend to put here on software. I don't want the system to crash, and I've seen some crashes when setting up anything else than software which again might be wrong because you know this is uh, this is um, for, uh, for starters Bluestacks is a proprietary uh, software so you don't really get access to the code so you don't see what they are doing and secondary they, they keep doing lots of updates and the first releases of Bluestacks 5 were a bit buggy so I might explain why I still have this here but I didn't really try changing these this configuration things um, and so you, you don't have much transparency and you don't really know what's the best and I guess it would be a question of, of trying out for yourself or and checking out uh, in forums and other places, Reddit, etc. what the, the people are saying about these settings. Uh, remember back then uh, people were recommending this so that's why I said this. Um, so enough of the settings, you have a basic uh, VM and now what I recommend is you clone this VM into as many VMs as you need and then you already have in theory the login made and just add, have the option of adding the applications so you can uh, have specific VMs for, for your needs. So in this case I already have a Hero Wars, but I'll explain and show how we make uh, um, a new Hero Wars VM for just for Hero Wars. So I just go in here and you look for the clone, it's not this one, it's this one, the clone instance. Right, you click here. You you pick from which one you want to clone. It already picks the one that you clicked, but you could you could pick another one. But you pick the, the default VM, and you set the resources a bit higher than this. So um, based on my experience, two cores at least, and at least four gigabytes of RAM. And we'll confirm here what we have, and we have uh, actually four cores and up, up to eight gigabytes of RAM. All right, so we do that. Uh, and why that? Because this game demands a lot of memory. It's uh, it's also why a lot of people have problems uh, playing this game on their phones because uh, Android will keep killing the application if you s switch to another application because you won't have enough memory. Uh, and also the game will be slow because of the various uh, resource limitations of your phone, unless you have a very high-end phone. So we put here at least four gigabytes. Um, in the start, you can also uh, optimize this and, and put extra memory if you if you have enough. 
Um, although it will give a, a warning here, I don't think it will allow us to set up that. So I will just put it here, four gigabytes, and then we can put between two and four cores, and we can try two cores and see the the the, um, the performance of that. It asks here what we want: balance or high performance. And and I would say uh, you put here high performance as long as you only have one uh, VM started at a time. I think this will um, correlate to some of the settings we were checking there. So on one instance only, and we can keep the DPI to, to 240, that's enough. And we just click the, the create. So this will clone the VM now. It will take a little bit of time, but hopefully not a lot, if especially if you have uh, uh, an SSD on, on your computer. SSD stands for solid state drive. So it's basically uh, your storage um, disk that handles um, that, that uses a technology that is based on an, on flash memory and makes it dramatically faster than using magnetic disk so otherwise also called as a uh, hard disk device or HDD so you don't use those um, if you want uh, high performance in this case I ended up putting the VMs on my HDD because I didn't have enough enough storage on my SSD and that's why it took a, a bit longer so we now have um, I believe would be this one here the number 11 and we can check the configuration to see what it did so we have frame rate 60 we have the memory location we can custom this now I believe yeah we can put it to 8 gigabytes but actually we will keep it for to see how that goes and uh, and it seems it kept the, the other defaults and no other changes. So this is what we had. Regarding the one that got created here for no reason uh, whatsoever, they put it to 4 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes uh, of RAM, 4 cores, and standard settings here. And now they're also using performance OpenGL and software. So it might be this default. Um, they are all on Nougat, so I really don't know why we got added a new VM there. So I'll just delete that. I don't want that. And now we have that. We can start this new VM that we created. So this will be our new Hero Wars uh, VM. And you can already customize this, by the way. And just put here, like, Hero Wars. Oh, yeah, typing is awful. Mobile. I'm a bit dislodged from the chair, and so I'm hitting the wrong keys. Here was mobile. So it started, and let's confirm we have a Google account in here. We have. All right. So close this. Now what we do? We go in the Play Store because that's what where you will find this game. Only on the Play Store. Let's try refreshing. There we go. And we look. Uh, we look for two things. We look for Google Play games. And so, I yeah, that's what I suspected. It comes, uh, comes out pre-installed. If you don't have this on your phone and you install the application, the game application, Hero Wars, then you start Hero Wars Mobile, it will, in the, in the first seconds or minutes, ask you, ah, you need, uh, you need to play, play games to play this game. So then you install this but it's already installed by default maybe I didn't install it on my default VM maybe it already comes out and eh, we can check that it comes out installed by default uh, with OpenStax um, yeah uh, <laughs> yeah I'll have a review here uh, but it seems we can uninstall so I, I probably added that on top of the default VM and now we look for Hero Wars so Hero Wars you install that And it will take a bit. <laughs> it will take a bit. Uh, it might not even install because sometimes we have some kind of weird issue here on boost hacks with the existing VMs, not with the new VMs. And I kind of wanted to demonstrate this. So if it doesn't work, we have an alternative way of 
Let me set it. Okay, it's launching. It's installing, no problem. No problem. If it would not install for some um, non load problem issue on Google, uh, what we would do is we, we would go to my existing Euro Wars VM, we would clear the data, and then we will start the, 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 um, the game, and then it will bring us to where we wanted, which was the first login, etc. So now we have the, the, the game. You can launch it directly from here, but you can also uh, launch it from here because it will show up here on the, on the home screen. So we click Euro Wars, and then it will happen one of three things it will find no uh, account um, no account on your google play for your google account that you selected if, if it's maybe you put the wrong account or you never played this game uh, it will find uh, one account and it will automatically select it or uh, it won't find uh, your account and it will create a new one for some weird uh, bug or, or issue. And then you will have to you will have to to clear the, the data again, restart it, and see if it picks up the right the right account. Uh, uh, and there's also another scenario. Maybe you already have multiple accounts somehow on your Google Play account, and it will maybe let you select which one. <laughs> Never experienced that before, but anyway, we started the game. We have this. Uh, popping up and we have the competitions which are paused today because it's Sunday and and then we have we have we are presented with their heroes way and all those things that we get popped up in, in the first um, in the first startup of the game and then we have a, a working game if you are really a new player you will be presented with more more screens and more things to do but that's basically that. We have the game running, and then we can do things uh, like we can do, uh, um, for example, a, a training here. Just demonstrate a fight. So I'm gonna put my my teams here. I'm gonna put uh, astronauts with Orion and Dorian and Helios, and I'm gonna put. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be gentle. I'm gonna put <laughs> Celeste, not Andrari. So no extra armor. And I'm gonna I'm gonna fight this with my Kira team. So usually it would be like this, but Jet here will kill my team because of Helios there. So I'm gonna swap Jet there, and I'm gonna put instead a Nebula, right? So let's try this. And uh, actually, I might even replace Marta because my Marta is lagging behind. So I'll just put uh, Celeste as well. And let's see how that goes. Nebula will be boosting my my Celeste and my Kira. So hopefully this team will be able to defeat the Orion or the H team uh, without resorting to critical hits, which would be disastrous here. We don't have sound. Let's enable sound. <laughs> we can try a different composition we can try instead the uh, this goes far beyond the purpose but uh, I guess we can have some fun now uh, I'm gonna put instead um, Dorian in there and see if that helps uh, Kira stay alive and <laughs> try to dominate the other team I'm gonna fast forward here <laughs> means this team is not fit enough for the opposing team. Maybe if I had, yeah, that's one thing we can also try. If I had used Astrods, maybe it would we would stand a chance. So let's try that and put back Celeste. Um, and we can even drop Andvari here. Uh, why not? And we could, we can, um, we can put additional healing, I guess. Oh, no, wait. Oh, Jorgen, of course. That should trump it. <laughs> Nebula won't be boosting Kira, uh, but Jorgen will, will kind of uh, hamper 
uh, Orion, Orion on the opposing team, and hopefully that will be in the Along with Astro, provide Alright, so we have a full game running, uh, you can resize this, uh, bear in mind that if you have multiple screens and you move around screens you might crash the application or even your computer, your Windows computer, this is a problem in BlueStacks I believe. Um, there's a bunch of controls here, I will explain a few of them, and there's also access to the settings here. You won't be able to change... Uh, anything or most anything uh, just the preferences I believe a little more uh, with the with the VM running but um, yeah you can you can definitely look at some of the things here uh, Android debug bridge this is this is for um, people who understand anything about this is is to be able to access uh, uh, the debugging interface on, on, on this Android device pseudo device um, to do some things like pulling or pushing packages and other things so I'm not going to go into too much detail that this is for for developers and enthusiasts not for the common folk uh, cleanup this is useful to reduce storage uh, storage being used um, it's basically using the this this predefined profile the one plus five but there's other profiles you can use here um, I don't bother with this uh, that much and uh, well there's a bunch of preferences, uh, support for gamepads, where you want to put the audio and microphone, you can pick here. So there's a bunch of settings in there. Um, and I saw mounting somewhere, yeah, here. This is where the media will go. And this is when you, you take uh, screenshots. And now we're going to go to those. So we you have here, this is the most important, the take screenshots. So you can... Uh, Let's say you want to screenshot some stats, like here, Orion. You go in here, you show the stats, right? And then you take here a screenshot, right? You have a file, and it's in here, somewhere. <laughs> uh, there you go, there you go. So now you can post it, post it on your Discord or whatever. Uh, you have a screenshot, right? Very useful. Um, Let's see more. Oops, wrong button. It's not at the core. Uh, you have uh, settings um, also exposed here, like on screen and a bunch of other things. You have the lock uh, mouse cursor. Basically, this locks the mouse cursor. As you can see, you cannot exit uh, inside. Uh inside the 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 VM. If you if you press ask then you release the mouse and you can move around outside the VM again. You have the um, audio controls here which are already used and there's here um, the full screen it does like this. You can also maximize without going full screen. Uh, to exit full screen you, you press ask. Okay. But there's also F11 key that does the same. Uh, then we have here uh, macros I don't use. We have uh, sync operations I don't use. Uh, this is to call memories when when you are experiencing uh, extra usage of memory. You can you can trim memory here, so it's speed up 300 megabytes. And if so, if you have the, the game running for a while and you 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 know it might crash at some point, you can click this button and try to prevent. This is for installing applications uh, manually, like uh, an APK. APK stands for the the uh, application uh, um, specific Android platform uh, type of package. And you can install a custom application if, if you are a developer, for example, um, or if you're trying to do something else with this VM. And you can install m manually. Normally, you won't need this. Um, uh, lastly, uh, you have the media folder which is where we already saw, you, you can open it also from here. You have the rotation here, it's like a, a phone. Uh, you have um, the vibration controls there. You have the geopositioning. I believe there's also camera settings. And 
and this is a, a shortcut for for this application the the multi multi instance manager and and this one the echo mode this is to to save up resources basically um if you click in here you will you will basically be leaving the application but you can also click here to not actually leave the application and and switch to another application just like you do on android and if you click here you go to the home screen also without uh, closing the application so now you have a screenshot there because um, this is also exposed on inside the blue stacks um, and emulator and now you can swap around applications like an android uh, phone will do or phone or tablet now suppose you want to post uh, something directly from from uh, your emulator so uh, let's see something that doesn't need um, doesn't need a uh, login for example we transfer you can go in we transfer uh, yeah I don't I don't want to so <laughs> reject all right we transfer and uh, I want to send a file okay I agree blah 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 na -na -na -na. so this is as just an example of, of trying to access the storage for things that we already did inside I want to uh, access the storage, I want to see the files and I have here in the gallery and I have one screenshot alright and I sent to the file so see we this can be uh, can be Discord, can be a website, can be whatever you a uh, net social network, whatever you want to use of course what I recommend is not actually using that but instead using uh, the applications outside the the VM and you see, I triggered an out of memory situation where Android was forced to kill the application because it was consumed so much memory. So it's closed. I guess with this, uh, uh, it's a closure. Um, in previous, um, in previous Bluestacks version, the Bluestacks, uh, Bluestacks four, it had a recording uh, capability. It, it doesn't have uh, since Bluestacks five. I don't know if they plan to add. I think they were planning to. And I haven't seen it uh, uh, pop up uh, since. Uh, anyways, I use OBS, which is better for recording. So OBS, um, I can demonstrate that. So we have OBS here. I just put here multiple, um, multiple um, sources. And one of the sources that we can put in here would be a game capture. And then we could um, game capture like do 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 do. And then we can capture the screen, a window in this case, and then I would be picking this one. And I can like hide the, the display. And then hopefully this would this would work. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, there it goes. This is what how you would capture very basically, and then you can move on, of course you would capture very basically on your um, OBS capturing the source from your Bluestacks alright so I'm gonna go back to what we had and um, and hand our demonstration we're gonna close the VM by uh, you can click there or you can go in there and, and stop as we had demonstrated before and so we have we have that uh, how do you delete you go in here and you pre press the bin button just like we tried before and we uh, got rid of that extra mobile little large VM so uh, that's it I don't have anything else to show you I think this is enough to get you started with with uh, emulation on Windows computers running x86 processors and uh, don't expect uh, this to work on uh, different operating systems mac os support is being developed linux support doesn't exist arm support i don't think it exists uh, so don't count on running this on non uh, on non x86 uh, 80 86 sorry processors or non windows uh, operating systems but you have other options and i might do videos on other options not for mac though but for Linux, I might do uh, in the future. You can certainly have other other things like Camu, uh, VirtualBox, and, and so on. Um, 
that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you found this in interesting and useful. And, and uh, what I can say is that uh, my performance using using the emulator is far superior than my phone because my computer is capable and my phone uh, is not that much capable. I would have to have a, a an 8 gigabyte phone with more cores and yeah, who wants to spend 600 or 700 uh, euros or dollars on, on a stupid phone? I don't. <laughs> so I prefer having things that don't depend on freaking batteries that die all over two or three years and then y your money is wasted when you can have a decent computer uh, working for five to ten years it seems like a better investment so anyways i hope you enjoyed this and you take something out of this uh, leave a like a subscribe and a like if you want a comment you can leave your comments on uh, specific questions you want to ask about this uh, or also um, suggestions for different things. Uh, I covered BlueStacks, but there's other other emulators for Windows. Uh, if you have something covering macOS, uh, go forward. I won't be doing that kind of coverage. I don't have any any macOS Apple devices, and I don't intend to. So if you want to if you want to do something on that, uh, uh, m make a video, um, uh, post it, send it to me. I will I will refer in this video something like that um and i'll see you around take care bye bye <laughs> enjoy the summer enjoy the weekend bye bye